for years, Samsung's One UI has offered its users a way to control the brightness level of its flashlight. This has been incredibly useful since there are some situations when you need the torch to be brighter or more dim than it is by default. But Samsung had to specifically code this into their firmware because it was not a feature of stock Android. However, thankfully this functionality has been added to Android 13 and I can show you a free and open source application that adds customizable controls for the LED flashlight. This application is called Flash Dim, and it can be downloaded for free in the Google Play Store, on GitHub, or in the F-Droid App Store. Once installed, you'll get a new application icon in your home screen or your app drawer called Flash Dim. And directly from within the app, we can enable the torch to its maximum brightness, half brightness, and minimum brightness levels. We can adjust the brightness manually using the sliding scale to the right. And we can even enable SOS mode or set a customizable message for Morse code. Now this application will not override your default flashlight function within Android. You can see here that even when we set the brightness to a minimum level and we try to use the default flashlight toggle, it's not going to be set to whatever we have it set in this application. However, this application will automatically create its own unique tile when it is installed. And the flash dim toggle can be manually added to the quick settings panel. But even this tile will ignore whatever light level you have set within this area of the application. However, we can dive into the settings area, toggle on the quick settings link feature, and then set an initial level that we want that flash dim toggle to use whenever it is enabled. So if you want it to something in the middle, it will be set to a minimum brightness. If you want this set to something higher, then it will follow whatever option you have set within this initial level setting with the flash dim quick settings tile. Again, this is a free and open source application that has been made available to the community by developer CyberKO, and they seem to be very active when it comes to feature requests. So if you have an idea for a feature and they think it aligns with what the app can offer, then they may be able to add it to the app for you. And while Android 13 does have the ability to control the LED flash brightness levels, not all devices include the hardware that supports this feature. So while you may have Android 13 installed on your device, this application might not work for you if the LED flash hardware itself does not allow for customizable brightness levels. So again, this can be downloaded for free in the Google Play Store, but as it is an open source application, you can also download the APK directly from GitHub and from FDroid, all of which will be linked in the video description below.